Hi guys, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's World About Art. So today I'm going to draw a tiger for you and I'm going to do it with my ballpoint pen. So I'm drawing the initial outline in with uh, my mechanical pencil just because that is quite a complex drawing and I'm not, I'm not confident at drawing big cats so this is a, a learning curve. Just I'm just having a go, being a bit brave and doing something outside my comfort zone. So I'm just popping his eyes in now and I'm just adjusting as I go. I'm changing a few little details here or there, but when I go over it in pen, I'll just rub out the pencil so that's all fine. And you can see I'm changing the chin just a little bit. I wasn't happy with the shape of the chin. Popping where his details are in around his eyes and now I'm starting to add his stripes. And I'm following the direction of his fur and I'm being really careful to follow his body shape as I add the stripes because that's a big sort of factor in making them look correct. So now I'm going in with my ballpoint pen and I'm just starting to fill in everywhere that's darkest darks. So I'm just going in with my standard big pen, little four ink pen that's one of my favourites and you know, just start to fill in all his stripes, uh, being careful to follow the direction of his fur on his face. And you can see sometimes I sort of sit back and I hold my pen up and I just keep an eye on the proportions and where the pen strokes are going. So now I'm working on the details on the legs and I pop his toes in and I start working around the stripes on the front of his body. And again, being careful to follow the direction of his fur, it just gives him a more realistic look. And I will build this up over a few layers. There'll be two or three layers of, of pen across this drawing just to darken him up in the right spots. So as you can see, popping his toes in now, and now I start on his back. Again, being careful of the direction of the fur. And I'm sort of pressing about the same heaviness of the pen right across the picture because I will go in after with more pressure to create darker areas to give more contrast. And now I start down towards his back legs, again following the direction of the fur, so all the lines are literally going the direction of the tiger's body. So down his legs, the stripes are pointing towards the ground because that's the direction his fur would grow. And also into that other back leg. And so then I managed to find a ballpoint pen with yellow ink. <laughs> so I was rather excited about that. So I popped the yellow ink into his eyes and then I swapped to the red ink um, and I popped that in his mouth and on his nose. And then I go back in, I start again with my uh, other black ballpoint, um, which is a Parker pen and it's just got a thicker ink in it and it creates a darker line.
So I use the Parker pen to darken up the darkest darks and anywhere that I see that is a darkest point on this tiger. So now I've gone back to my normal pen and I'm just filling in around his tail and I just tidied up around his toes and then I go back in again with the darkest darks and start to build up in the shadow areas. So now I go in with my big pen again and I start to work all the fur in between his stripes. So it's just a slightly, like a couple of tones lighter. And I start to build up between all his stripes and I'm following the direction of his whole body. In the darker areas I press heavier and the lighter areas I press lighter to create the different um, tones of this particular black pen. I'd also like to give a shout out to, whoever, to everyone who's participating in Pembuary with Laurie at the Laurie Files and I. Um, we created this prompt just to keep our eye and keep practicing and keep drawing every day of February and it's turned into an absolute passion for me. I've absolutely fallen for pen. So I'll pop. Everyone who's participated, created a video or posted on Insta or Twitter, I'll pop everyone's links who's made videos and names below. And I'd love it if you'd pop over and check out everyone's work. And if you'd like to even just create a piece of art, hashtag Penbuary to the Laurie Files and I. And uh, on Instagram, Twitter, any of the, the social medias, that'd be awesome. We'd love to see your work. Um, yeah, so I'd just like to thank everyone for being a part of this. It's, it's so much fun and it's an awesome challenge. So now I'm just going over, building up the front part, the shadow areas and creating a bit of tone, different tonal values down his legs and up onto his shoulders. And now I work through onto his back and start to build the fur up around his body. Again, being careful to follow the direction, direction of his fur and I'm keeping the pen strokes really little and tight together.
So now, now as you can see, for the very lightest areas, I'm just going in with my ballpoint pen again, but as light, the lightest pressure, just so that you can just see the texture of pen down the insides of his legs. And then I go in and finish off his tail and get that a few different values in there, build up his stripes to a darker tone and then pop some shadow areas in. And then I go back and start to work around his face. And where he's got pure white, I've left white paper. So I'm just going back and adding in some darker shadowing around certain areas of his body so that I can see darker bits. And now I pop the ground in just to give him, you know, something to stand on. It makes him look a bit more realistic and gives it, grounds him, basically really grounds him. just about done I've only got a few little finishing touches to do and yeah he's finished so thank you so much for watching guys have an awesome day and I'll see you for the next video and I'll let you just watch the end finishing touches thanks for watching guys